fucking team filming everything I be fucking filming, man. What the fuck, man? Damn. Motherfucking Steven Spielberg on one feet all the time. Everything I be fucking filming. Every guy thing got me filming, man. This is Dollface holding him. Let me stop. Let me stop. What's yeah, going what's on? up, man? What's going on, man? What's I'm, up? I'm what are you up to? Working as always, man. Trying to hold the family together. You working, you know? Uh, uh, you I, going down to Bed Bath & Beyond today? I got to work there tonight, yeah. Be there tonight at about uh, 8.30. I leave at 8.30, so I'm, I'm doing my um, my uh, uh, other business in the daytime. And at night, I work at the pier. Work down there at the Bed Bath & Beyond. So, what are you going to uh, You going to go do? No, I just finished fucking, you know, I was in the bed sleeping, dude. I got to be work tonight. The lady called me in the building right next door to me. She said, look, I want you to mount a TV. I said, all right, mount the TV for $100. So I get to a fucking house, yeah. and she got the wrong size fucking mouth. So now, I'm, I go, now I have no choice but to get a beer and go back to bed. So I should, I should be there. I'll be upstairs in a few minutes. This is, I'm the mayor of Parkchester, in case you know, I know everybody. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing? <laughs> He's running for president uh, against Donald Trump. Hey, <laughs> they the yeah, my fault, baby. Nah, it's all right, man. It's all good. You know, I'm, you know, they call me the mayor of Park System, man. I know everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. We got, we got to chill, man. We got to get some buns up in your cook. We got, we got to chill. On my day off, yo. My big kids here. My big kids here. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? You know what I'm saying? AKA Mad Ass. Mad Ass. That's Arabic. Full, that's full in Arabic. You know what I'm saying? So we be doing these. This, I know like these guys. Mad Ass. When you put it together, Mad Ass. Mad Ass. Yeah. We just got for many years. Like a mad ass. Like an ass that's mad. Like a mad that's mad. ass. That's a angry, like an angry ass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's 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 the thing. But it's the store. My family going here for many many years. You know, my children, my family, my kids, everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I've been there a long time. So let's go back here to so we see Anthony back here. Yes, I'm Anthony. talking about. I knew Anthony for a long long fucking time. God, Anthony. And this this is this is Joseph's backhand man. Joseph, he can't run the store without Anthony. He needs Anthony. This is usually the Negro beers. We call these Negro beers because usually Clint gets she get he gets Budweisers and I get Bud Ice. It's basically the same people, but basically it's different. White people drink this beer and black people drink this beer. So this is called a Negro beer. This is called your Bud Ice. Budweiser. Bud Ice. Budweiser. Bud Ice. Budweiser. This go oh by the way, this goes really good with um with marijuana. Fifteen times. Been living here almost twenty years with my kids. Yeah, so it's like, oh, we've been there for a long time. Uh, I know a lot of people. My experience is, I like to be a person, so it's really, it's really just me to get along with people. And that's how I make my money. I branch on and talk to people, and branch on it. This is what I do for a living. So, me me doing what I do, I take care of different things and have all my types of values of what's going on and what makes me make my money. It's all the realness, too. You know? You're gonna be all like my son, so you're gonna make that chicken. <laughs> Gotta make that chick. What are you doing? Oh man. Man, man, you, you, you shoot it all, but you don't play, man. You don't put it up for the you take a shit, but wipe the ass and all that. You have to put some ass, actual ass sitting down, then you gotta get the pants pulling down and all that shit. Filming because I am the mayor of Parkchester, so we got a small documentary there. Hey, are you recording for posterity the garbage that I'm throwing away? Are you putting on false airs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's stuffing a bag of garbage. He's stuffing a bag of garbage. Yeah. It's too big to be. They, now, in a sane world, what they do is they make the opening big enough to, to take a tall kitchen bag that just slides in. But, because that would be too convenient for poor people, they've made a slightly larger but not quite large enough thing so that a tall kitchen bag doesn't fit without beating it like a fucking redheaded stepchild. Here, 
I mean, another solution for you, uh, uh, Morris, is I could like break open one of those big things and then like put it in a glass. We said oh, too much beer. if you want to split that, I'll split that with you. It's 22 ounces. I don't want to. What wanna... do I lose? Yeah, I just don't want to drink 25 ounces of a fucking beer. I I perfectly understand this. Uh, Not all out of one can. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I understand. You're going to drink 25 ounces anyway. I, I like but... to have a glass because it actually moderates my diet. <coughs> but right now, I don't really give that much. <coughs> What? Voila? C'est ça? Did you close the windows? I closed the one window. I assumed the other one was not open. You assumed incorrectly. Well, I thought that the rule was you don't open that window. Yeah, well, if we quit living here. Okay. Well, you see the mistake. You see why I made that mistake. It's a lot of fucking head there, buddy. Yeah, well, I could tilt the thing, but I got a cigarette and a lighter. <laughs> the caravan over your shoulder. Okay. It's going down. Look at that. It's going down. Not that bad. And you want me to wait for it to go down? Put it No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, tends to work that way. Thank you, sir. Yeah. See over here? We got a new Roche's issue. Actually, it isn't. There was a tool bag on the floor. I didn't know where these roaches were coming from with the cat food. They were all living in, in Foot's tool bag on the floor. So I had to pull all of the shit out of here and then put poison all over the floor and then put all of the shit back here and pack. I, oh, see, this is kind of a bad thing. I'm not supposed to do this, but I was so pissed at the roaches. It was right. I took the backpack and I took it outside in the hall and I kicked it. And every time roaches came out, I stomped all of them. And then I kicked it again. And every time the roach came out, I stomped all of them. And this went on for about five, ten minutes. And then I put the thing in a, in a plastic garbage bag outside, you know, tied it up and put it over here. And that's like the second roach city that I destroyed. There was, uh, this is just recently, there was a, there was a first roach city. And it was just under here. It wasn't the hardest to get rid of, but they had like a colony under. They had formed a colony under the cat litter, you know, thing. So, and that, there, there's, I think there's a, a, a third small city uh, somewhere. I haven't found it yet. It's probably under here somewhere, and I'll have to pull this apart to destroy it. So, but you put it back together, and we still have a functioning house. <laughs> you eating the last of the lasagna? That's a lasagna. That's chicken parmesan. That, 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 like, but that's foot though. He, amazingly, he made it. Uh, yeah, no. Foot made it last night. It was good. Foot won't eat anything that's been on the table for 24 hours. It's actually just fine. I would eat that. It's just I'm not hungry. It's, it, the thing is, I told them the rules of our chicken parmesan. It's so thoroughly cooked. And then it's covered in acidic tomato sauce. Yeah, he and it's actually get very that. hard for the bacteria to get it. And if you notice, Italian shit tends to get fungus rather than anything else because fungus is the entire order of because fungus is the entire order of because fungus is the entire because fungus is the entire. Life that can deal with it. Bacteria really don't know what to do with it. So the rule is if you see one, there are 500. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Unless. Speaking of not making sense, I I've just seen shit, fucking right? roaches inside the fucking microwave. Seriously? Seriously? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Okay. Let me see. Let me let me see. Can I see? Can there, there's, I see? there's no carcasses. They're, they're fucking we're crawling on the inside of the door. And you didn't Excuse turn the heat me. on? Yeah, I had the heat on and they started scampering. Okay, that looks like their next shot. Which means I gotta take this whole thing apart. Well, I have a way to I still have to take the whole thing apart because that's probably their next. It probably is an established city at this point. Mm. 
Well, a large amount of steam from the fucking water boiling will drive them the fuck out. But they're probably already gone. I mean, once the light is gone. So. Yeah, they're going into the crack, but the steam will also go into the cracks. They're going into the cracks, they actually go retreat back to, you know, Manhattan. When it works. I'll take it apart. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's just getting up to come. I'm going to eat a piece of cheese. This is a resupply. What kind of pe which cheese? Are you partial to a certain kind of cheese? I just need to put something in my stomach. Soak up acid and shit. Alright, if you want to feel it, film, film it. I'm just going to... Dude, I'm a true artiste, dude. Mm -hmm. Right, you are. Well, what does your diet mostly consist of? Mmm. Cheese. Cheese, milk, juice. Sometimes ham. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Joe? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? And put a tub of water in the microwave. I'm letting the microwave boil the water. As the water turns to steam, it gets too fucking hot for the roaches inside. So eventually the roaches will cook from the steam. So you're having a roach infestation? Uh, in our microwave where we cook food. You're having an inner mi you're having an inner microwave roach infestation. Mm. Yes. Foot's school bag delivered a fucking they, they seeds deliver. of an army. Actually, no, the roaches, no, he didn't deliver the roaches. The roaches were actually delivered from a separate point yeah. because they had actually, like, colonized his, his backpack after colonizing somewhere around this area here. They're not on this side of the, 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 the kitchen yet. They do crawl over there, but they're not. On, it's mostly concentrated here where all the clutter is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's a giant chunk of meat that I have to clean up in the morning. Just so you know, you have to know what they eat and what they won't eat. The size of what they'll eat and the size of what they won't eat. You jump, a, you throw a giant lump on the floor, and if they won't eat it, you go, Well, if you won't eat it, I'm not giving you any more. Great. I have to clean it up. Just try, try a little bit. Try a little bit. He's got a lot of anger, Joe. It's just, I've been doing this for years. He, I keep telling him, this is the way cats work. If you do this with cats, they'll get this result. I'm Joe! I throw things! They don't eat it, they can just suffer! I know, I heard that the first time. But if you just work with the cats, and work with their system, and work the way they work, I throw food on the floor because I'm Joe! I'm a great manly man! Great, I still have to clean it up in the morning. So if you could, just listen to me, and only throw the cat... Oh! Joe! I, I, I know, I, I understood. You said that like eight times. And then I look like the maniac because only, the only time anybody pays attention is when I start getting mad, and that takes about 800 times of him doing something before I get mad. <clears throat> no, hey, look, that's Clint screaming. That's Clint screaming. Yeah, because, yeah, because he's not listening. Bam. Bam. And so it goes. Speaking of music, you need to speak, fix my fucking computer. Yeah, need... it's got a new operating system on there. I was just too fucking tired and sick to actually... Too much? You're the one who always wants more. You know yes. what? I'll take the too much. No, no, no. I, I You're the one who wanted a glass. Yes. Now, you, now I put too much for you. Well, for that glass, yes. For the glass I requested, that would be just perfect. This is too much. Well, I can take the too much and you can have the smaller. No, no, it's, it's... Joe, this look, is... Look, you can't cover up your mistakes like that. Some mistakes you just have to live with. You're such a... You're so full of shit right now. It, I can smell the sh full of shit on you. It's... It's... it's it reeks... It's so <laughs> full of shit right now. Yeah, was that not awesome way? I, I, I kind of winded him up. But let him unwind at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Awesome. That's what it was. <laughs> so, to, right. my, to the absence of mom. Or inner spirit. <laughs> that, that, that too. Madness.
I mean, in 2011, I found my mom was dead. And then, like, what was that? In 2012, I found out that Dory was dead. And, like, I've had two sisters commit suicide. Like, wow. Like, there's a problem. You know? There is an issue. You know? I'm just saying. People used to rag at me, like, I'd give this whole argument about, like, like, like horror movies and murder and crime and, like, I go, I've just seen enough death. And it sounds like one of those basic claims that you make. It's, oh, yes, I'm one of those non-violence people. It's like, no, I'm not one of those non-violence people. Like, literally, sometimes some people have to be killed. It's just... I know what death looks like from too many angles. And you go, oh, my, my story is, the, the, you know, the oppression Olympics, the, the, the tragedy Olympics. And I go, look, I've had two sisters commit suicide. I'm sorry. I'm not even trying to best you. You can have the medal. You can have the gold. You can have the silver. You can have the bronze. Okay? I wish you, I wish you could take it away from me. Just saying. And um, it's just, that's what I know. And I, I know a lot of dying, so you say, oh, Clint's very grumpy. Well, yeah, okay, there's a lot of death on my head. I, your mom was one of them, because she got to be the first one that I got to actually see die. And I avoided that with my sister's, with Killen's funeral, and, and, I, and I never had to see with Doria's funeral, and I never had to see with Ma's funeral, I never had to see it. But I, you fucking asshole. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. But I have to be angry at somebody. You fucking asshole. When you were pumping her heart, she turned her head like this, and she didn't turn her head. The machine turned her head, and her eyes were open, and there were... It was like a flakiness on her eyes. No, you gotta let it out sometimes. I don't get to let it out with anybody. Nobody wants to fucking hear what... I'm anybody. here. We're here. We're listening. I'm just saying, it's been since July 11th, nobody... Joe and Foot, they talk to each other. Joe talks to Baleen and fucking Ray, and then there's like the extended but family I, of like... Do you feel oh. like you isolate yourself though from, from... No, I was isolated just at the time when I needed somebody to talk to. Everybody, 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 and that's the people I trust, and man, fucking cash in their cards. You know, I don't have family! I don't have it! There's no obligation for anybody to listen or care about me. You have that. There is no obligation. Gog said it to me. You're not blood. I have no obligations to you. And you know what? She broke me a little bit. And I became friends with her and everything else. But she broke me a little bit, and she knew she did. She took one thing away from me. So I don't have anybody to talk to this about. And everybody dropped out this year. Because of their own fucking, fucking problems. So I don't got nobody to talk about. I've been fucking through fucking shit, and that's fine. You've been through bad shit. I've been through fucking shit, and that cat. This cat, this goddamn little cat, she's the only one. She insists on crawling on my chest when I'm at my worst, when I'm at my saddest. Sometimes I tell her to go, but nine times out of ten I go, no, I'm gonna put my computer aside because somebody fucking loves me. I gotta get this all fucking out, and I'm gonna keep getting out. I hold off. I'm, I'm fucking hard on myself. Don't you get that by now? I can't fucking shave because I feel like there has to be some end game to fucking your mom dying. There has to be some end game for me to shave it off, and I don't know who's gonna fucking put me through the catharsis and I can fucking shave the goddamn thing off, but I'm fucking crazy! It had to do with me, too! But nobody ever fucking realizes that. When I need it. Alright, I exploded. <laughs> That's good, you gotta get it out. <laughs> I know. It's good. Everybody feels lonely and isolated.
The thing about Joe, and this is a good thing, is like when he feels something, he, he, he gets dramatically raging. Okay. Or, or he starts he crying in a restaurant. In a bar in a restaurant. My whole thing is I hope... Which I think is incredibly brave because how many guys want to start crying in a public place? I, but they, I be, they're I, too cowardly to do that. I become a pressure cooker bomb. Right. You know, that's it. <clears throat> Can you put it on him and interview him more? <laughs> So now the boat ports. <laughs> Cut to Toyota commercial. All right, I, it's, I exploded like boiled mushroom. What can I say? He's a phony. He's a big phony. <laughs> this is amusing to me. What are you gonna do with all this? I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. It's licking a battery. Willie, guess who was licking it? Willie. Wow. Licking what? He's licking the battery. <laughs> that is like like a classic idiot thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> we knew he was an idiot, but he's, a, he's an extra special idiot. Yeah.